barricaded persons, uh, hostage situations, dignitary protection, high risk search warrant, and future apprehension. Okay. How often would you say that you engage in these sort of duties? So I'm close to 60 barricade or hostage situations right now, and I would say a little over 200 warrants right now. Okay. Is this something that is a SWAT team member or special response team member you do on a, a daily or weekly basis? Every day. Okay. <clears throat> And how long have you been a member of the special response team? ESPN Bed. 30 p.m. on Friday, December the 3rd, 2021. Do you recall that date and time? I do. And were you working or were you called in? I was called in. And tell us what that means, please. So I was probably sleeping at that time. Uh, my work phone goes off because we're always on call. Um, so it's blasting. You wake up, you look at your phone, and depending on what you get called in, so that day we were called in for a future of apprehension. Um, we're told to report to the base. Uh, I reported my base. Grab the Detroit Police Special Response Team base? Yes, sir. Okay. And then what do you do there? Uh, then I gather all my equipment up. So, you know, you grab your uh, rifle, your body armor, um, your belt, anything you need for your objective for the night. Okay. Were you told at that point why you were being called in specifically? We knew we were going for uh, two fugitives. Okay. And so um, you got to the base and then you obtained your gear? Correct. And what happens next? Uh, then I was loaded onto the barricade, which is our smaller armored vehicle. Uh, and then we go from there to our assigned address. Okay. So if I understand you correctly, there are other members of the special response team with you at the base at that point? Yes, sir. And you said we loaded on the barricade, so that means other members loaded onto the vehicle as well? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you recall how many? I would say around six. Six? Okay. And you traveled together to the um, location you were called for? Yes, sir. 